You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for our Black and White Sports. Well, my God, the Lakers' meltdown continues. 31 and 43 currently is the record. They are in the 10th spot, the last play in spot in the NBA. Now, a lot of LeBron James's player acquisitions, and I'm blaming him, okay? He gets on these teams. He plays the role of general manager. That's what he does, okay? And he wanted Russell Westbrook on this team. I said it was the worst acquisition. It was the worst fit in the history of the NBA when this guy, there's only one ball. There's only one ball to go around. And we know Russ can't shoot. He can't shoot. LeBron would have been better off going out there and bringing in a couple of mid-level three-point sharpshooters and uh, at least put something around him even akin to the Cavs. Remember the Cavs team that overachieved? I mean, this team is not has more superstars, not nearly all around as good as that Cleveland Cavaliers team that they got destroyed by the Spurs in the finals. But the point is, this team is not making any finals. Well, word has it LeBron would like to trade out Russell Westbrook. And then this summer, the Lakers would like to get out of him. Well, they went to the Knicks about Russell Westbrook. And it's a disaster. I mean, they were like, not no, but hell no, basically. And I think it's because, uh, look, NBA teams have just figured out Russell Westbrook is not the player that I believe the media hyped him up to be, especially during that that triple-double season that he had. Um, he's one of the most inefficient players ever. Knicks have, quote, no interest in a potential Russell Westbrook trade this summer. This It's a disaster for the Lakers. A new, new report indicates that the New York Knicks are not interested in the idea of adding L.A. Lakers guard Russell Westbrook. Jake Fisher of Bleacher Report spoke with Mark Stein, he's one of the best in the business, and indicated that the Knicks' lack of interest has been evident for a while. Quote, I pitched the idea to Knicks people, and time and again, going back to the deadline, they have no interest, Fisher said. Everything I've heard is that New York is trying to grow this group as it is and mix and match a few parts and move forward. Westbrook was acquired by the Lakers before the 2021-22 season. He was seen by many as an important part of the team's formula to win another NBA title. I mean, look, whoever thought that is clearly not paying attention to Russell Westbrook's career. That vision has since fallen apart due to chemistry issues. There you go. Involving Westbrook and key injuries for the Lakers. The Lakers now simply trying to reach the postseason and may not last long even if they are successful in their efforts. Westbrook's struggles this season will continue to cause the Lakers to make a major effort to trade him after the season ends. Part of the difficulty in making a trade is related to his salary. Barring a massive collapse by teams ahead, the Knicks won't be making the playoffs this year. Their record is 32-42. and 42. Boy, they've greatly underachieved. Still, they clearly feel that adding Westbrook this offseason wouldn't improve their situation. No, I mean, Westbrook is now a Sacramento Kings kind of guy. Okay, let's go get him, superstar. Maybe some people will show up to watch Westbrook play, but he's not going to be a key piece. He's not going to be a key piece on an NBA title team. It's not happening. The Lakers currently have a 31-42 and record with nine games left in the regular season. Next up is a Sunday contest against the New Orleans uh, Pelicans. And by the way, okay, the Lakers are in the ninth spot. The Pelicans are in the tenth spot. So that's that's a big game right there. That is, that is a big game. Now, of course, I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> you know, I'm not watching the NBA. We're, we just don't watch it on this channel because of everything they did. But, yes, we're going to call out the Lakers uh, for 
they're, they're woes. We're here to celebrate the destruction of this team. Plain and simple. They put this team together. LeBron James, in all of his infinite wisdom, thought putting this team together would be competitive and go out there and contend for a title. I still, I still will always say I would have rather had LeBron, Brandon Ingram, and Kyle Kuzma on this team together. Okay, a couple of youthful pieces along with him as a player, and then there you go. See what you can do. But they went out, got Anthony Davis. Well, he's, he's Mr. Glass, for crying out loud. He can't stay on the court. And then you go get this ball hog in Westbrook. It was a disaster waiting to happen. Um, tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Man, the Lakers are trash. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.